Prestamol starts, so the precursor of Prestamol is from this acetylene light. Yeah? It's withdrawn. It's, it has good, all the structures, including uh, Prestamol, these two structures, uh, they have this anti-inflammatory and also antiparitic effects. They are quite good in that. Yeah? But somehow, if you actually have it without the OH group, so here is the, just a O ethyl group that is without the OH group, they are quite toxic to the patient. Yeah? This is still toxic at high dose. Yeah? Prestamol is still toxic at high dose, actually. Um, but if you take it as a, I think you've learned this before, if you take it as a certain therapeutic value, uh, dose, you still, you can, it works very well. If you take it like 10 tablets at one go, definitely that doesn't actually, uh, you know, um, <coughs> work as you want it. It works uh, worse than that, yeah? The SAR, very simple. This, this is all as it is. You, there's no need to change them in a sense. Somehow this is the, the perfect, almost, almost a perfect drug. That the minor group needs to be there. Remove it with the carbon, it doesn't work. All right. The OH group is already optimal. Uh, if you actually have a methyl or propyl or other groups there, increases the side effects. If you remove this altogether, it goes back as being a stenonite and it doesn't work as well. Because of it, it works, but then it doesn't it give you more toxicity as well. Um, this is important, yeah. If you change that carbox, uh, sorry, the methyl group to a, a phenyl ring, again, it doesn't work, yeah. More side effects and so on. Okay. So it, this is already a, almost a perfect um, molecule. The only thing is that um, in the body, in the liver, is metabolized to this imine. This imine, as you know it, is very reactive. Yeah? If you have a soft um, nucleophile, like a thio group, it can easily attack them. Yeah? So normally, this is a normal way that it gets excreted. With the high dose, the body couldn't actually recover. Yeah? This is when you form the uh, conjugate. And this conjugate is actually toxic to um, other organs in the body. Okay, I hope you have seen the progression of ideas, how the ideas or the hypothesis from the uh, structure of the uh, arachidonic acids, the concept of it, was developed further, you know, by using that structure from arachidonic acid, aspirin as a lead molecule, especially the carboxylic acid, how these ideas are further developed into the current acids in the market and also further developed into COX-2 inhibitor and how was it discovered? How those COX inhibitors were discovered? And um, remember, thirdly, uh, as well, that um, make sure that you understand the pattern as I mentioned earlier, in the um, H1 antagonist, study the patterns, that is the framework. Uh, in other words, how would the structure influence the activity of the particular drug or family of drug? And that will give you a really huge clue on the next progression of um, ideas and also the development of future drugs coming from the predecessor. Last but not least, the final lecture will be on anti-gout agents. I'll see you in the last lesson.